Good morning, everybody, and welcome to week two of this English course on Instagram. This week, we're going to talk about art in different ways. Hmm? The first thing I want to look at, it's an expression, an English expression. Try to guess it, okay? I'll show you something. the expression uh, the big picture it usually doesn't really refer to the actual like big painting but it means something else do you know what similar to Italian Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day two of this art week. This morning, I want to talk about the verb. Do you know how to pronounce it? There are two ways to pronounce this word. Listen carefully. <laughs> to draw. To draw. 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 What's the difference? So, draw is the British pronunciation. Draw is the American one. So this verb, to draw, I say draw, um, has different meanings. Do you know how many meanings it has? Well, today I want to focus on four of the main meanings of this verb. And also remind you that it's an irregular verb. To draw, drew, drew, drawn. All right? Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day three of this art week. Here's Brie. <laughs> uh, this morning, I have prepared a super special lesson about pronunciation. It's actually a challenge. Uh, I'm going to show you three names of three super famous artists, and I want you to try to pronounce uh, their names. <laughs> pronunciation challenge, art edition. How do you pronounce the name of this artist? Hmm. In English, it's pronounced Van Gogh or Van Gogh. <laughs> now try to read this name. No, it's not Andy Warhol. It's Andy Warhol. Warhol. And now try to read this name. Guys, it's not Ben Ski. No, it's Bank C. Banksy. How many did you get? Talking about Banksy, in the September issue of Speak Up, you will find a super interesting article about him. It's for an A2 level, and there are many different uh, words about art, graffiti, and so on. On the exercise book, you can practice. See, there are a few exercises about, art, about the articles. And if you want, you can listen to the articles using the CD or you can download them on your phone. There are different articles for different levels, B2, C1, C1, and so on. If you're interested, you can subscribe to the magazine using my code, Norma Speak Up, and get a discount.
Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day four of this art week. Um, this morning, we're going to do an exercise, a listening exercise. All you need is a piece of paper and some markers or you know, even pens or whatever. Okay, we're going to draw. I've called this exercise Detta Disegno. Basically, you will hear me uh, describing um, a picture, let's say, and you need to draw it. Okay, please, are you ready? You can do this. It's a beautiful day and the sun is shining on a big hill. The grass is green and filled with yellow flowers. On top of the hill, there is a huge oak tree. A swing is hanging from a branch. Next to the tree, there is a small white house. Between the house and the tree, there is a gray dog. It's a beautiful day and the sun is shining on a big hill. The grass is green and filled with yellow flowers. On top of the hill, there is a huge oak tree. A swing is hanging from a branch. Next to the tree, there is a small white house. Between the house and the tree, there is a gray dog. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the last day of this art week. This morning, we're going to focus on the pronunciation of two words because I want to show you a super funny and pretty funny quote. I love quotes. So try to pronounce this word. Mm. Okay, in American English, it's earth. In British English, it's earth. You don't pronounce the R, earth. Now, this word. In American English, it's art, okay? You pronounce the R. In British, it's art, art, okay? Sorry, I feel <laughs> awkward. Now try to guess. The earth without art is just, what is it? <laughs> so now what I'd like you to do is to Google art quote, uh, click on images and find a nice quote, something that you like, and then um, copy and paste it and um, comment on the next post. Thanks! everybody and welcome to our Saturday revision week two year two <laughs>
I really hope you enjoyed this week. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for a completely new mini course. If you like this page, please tell someone about it and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a happy Sunday. Bye.